In this short tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to turn on the filing assistant as well as view emails that have automatically been filed. The filing assistant can be turned on by going to tools, user preferences, and scrolling down to the filing assistant. As you can see, the assistant can be turned on both for your inbox as well as your sent items. It is automatically set to file anything older than five days to give you a buffer to handle your messages within that time. And will file up to the last 30 days to prevent Mail Manager filing all historic emails, which could affect the performance of your Outlook. You can also see there's a best suggestion threshold based on the degree of certainty Mail Manager has when looking to file your messages. This goes from low medium and high. We also have a filing dashboard which can be accessed by going to status at the top and going down to the left hand side where it says filing assistant. If you don't currently have the filing assistant activated you can see where mail manager would have filed your messages if it was turned on. As you can see we have the suggested locations from the emails that have been sent and where Mail Manager would send them if I have indeed filed. Mail Manager bases its predictions on the conversation ID, the subject and the body of the email, as well as the sender and recipient, comparing this to the filing location on Mail Manager. For example, if the email contains a project number in the subject of the email, Mail Manager would have a great accuracy in selecting the correct location. Now, if you've already filed messages using the filing assistant, you can go to the drop down messages here. You can go to the drop down messages in the filing activity, and where it says show all, you can click filed assisted. This will then show you all the emails that have been filed by Mail Manager's filing assistant. And in the event it has filed into the incorrect location, again, you would just be able to highlight the emails as normal, right click, and then move the email to the correct location. 